These stupid motherfuckers over at Activision are killing the game because they're trying to make some quick cash in the short run. These idiots have put supply drops and COD points in Modern Warfare Remastered like big fucking shocker. I did a video a couple days ago. Surprise, motherfucker. Infinite Warfare ain't making no money. No one's playing that game, it seems. I can't find full lobbies. So they're like, you know what? Let's just put supply drops and COD points in Modern Warfare Remastered and whore ourselves out. And it's really fucking stupid on their part. They are killing this franchise with this stupid short run, short game trying to make money, not thinking in the long run maybe 30 to 40 percent of the hate for the game is because people are tired of flying around like space monkeys and shooting each other with space boots and laser beams on sharks but the other 60 percent really is because people think they're getting fucked over here they're pissed off that activision is putting guns and supply drops and cod points and fucking bullshit taunts they're putting this nonsense behind a paywall that's some kind of vegas coke binge bullshit gambling ring if they wanted to make some money in the long run they would stop doing this bullshit and do a couple simple things. Fine, you could sell COD points, you could try to goddamn sell gambling to kids with supply drops, which it is, it's gambling, it's bullshit, it's just like a slot machine, you ring it, and then hopefully you win a prize. As the famous T. Martin said, these supply drops are actually pretty cool this year because you can use salvage to buy and build guns and use that to get things in the Quartermaster and Infinite Warfare. Don't forget to check out this website that I just found. My name's I don't own it whatsoever, Trevor. You can win $6,000. Oh, the salvage, that's true, Eight Martin. super awesome. The salvage rates are so great, it takes you about 18 years to earn anything, to be able to buy anything. So thank you, T-Martin, paid cod, f your Activision money. But if they wanted to do all this and sell some bullshit and try to make some extra money, which I understand is capitalism. They're a publicly traded company. They got shareholders. They've got profits they have to make. I have no problem with DLC and Call of Duty. They've always had DLC map packs. They had the DLC Black Ops 2 map pack that came with the... Oh, what gun was that? What fucking gun was that that it came with? It was, they copied it in Black Ops 3, or not, but, but that cost you $15 million to get. What the fuck game was that? The Peacemaker, yeah. The Peacemaker in Black Ops 2, you got that with this DLC map pack. How about you do that with the guns? If you want to sell gambling to kids with supply drops and COD points, good on you. You're an amazing corporation. You're trying to introduce kids to gambling at a young age and they get hooked. Next thing you know, these kids are in the back LA Las Vegas sucking off homeless people trying to get enough money to build to play the craps. But sell these guns as DLC. Give us the option, because I can give a shit about these bullshit taunts and camouflages and nonsense and reticles and melee weapons that are shit useless and don't get you any kills anyway. Sell us the guns. Give us an option to buy the guns. Give us an option to buy the DLC weapons. I think that'll alleviate a lot of the problems and the hate for Call of Duty. Or all together, stop being stupid motherfuckers and stop with this supply drop DLC COD point microtransaction that everybody seems to be doing, trying to milk everybody out for every goddamn penny they have in the short run, meanwhile turning them against the guy damn game itself. The hate for Call of Duty is more based upon the fact that Activision has a giant baseball bat wrapped with barbed wire sticking up our asshole like his name was Negan. It's a stupid fucking move. It's a short game. You're losing fans. You're wrecking it. You may be making money right now, but I tell you what, your sales are down 50%. And that's not all because the game's a piece of shit and people are tired of it. The game itself, if I'm just being completely honest, majority of people don't hate the game. It's not the best Call of Duty ever. Fucking goddamn guarantee that. But it's not the worst Call of Duty ever. And the reason why there's a lot of hate for it is because it's a shit sandwich packed on top of a shit sandwich. And people's tolerance for any bullshit or any bad games by Call of Duty is zero because we're getting rammed up the bum hole by a dude named Negan with a baseball bat advertises COD points free DLC bullshit. <laughs> Mouth open, taking the COD cocks, opening supply drop, super surprise. Make sure to check out my website, but I don't own it whatsoever. Trevor, nonsense. And I know people are annoying saying just quit the game, don't support it, don't buy it. That's not the answer. And one of the main problems with the supply drops and why it still has momentum is because these stupid asshole COD cocksuckers on YouTube doing <laughs> big fake supply drop opening reaction videos supporting this nonsense. Anybody out there has ever done a supply drop opening video, fuck you. Yeah. I don't even care if you used your salvage or used fucking points that you got in the game and didn't buy any COD points because you shouldn't even be talking about it. You should have nothing good to say about it. And people that do that and make these supply drop opening videos for fucking views and YouTube money, fuck off, man. Are you that hard up for content that you gotta do a supply drop opening video going, with a thumbnail just to get some extra views. Not enough people like myself with a bigger channel, or even like I said, even a bigger channel, because my channel's not even that big, causing shit about this. And anyone who's ever done one is an enemy of the state, in my opinion. You're an asshole. You're still showcasing it. You're still making it look cool. You're still advertising it to your dumbass kid subscribers who subscribe to you and think that it's fucking cool to buy them. Sorry if you think they're cool to buy them and watching my video. They're not, they're bullshit, and they're killing the game in the long run. Every video that has anything to do with supply jobs should be 
Fuck supply drops. That's the only way this is going to work. And of course they're going to keep doing that bullshit because they're paid by Activision. They're the cod cocksuckers. I've already had videos, you know, months and months ago showing documentation between these guys and Activision making money, getting paid to do videos. These guys all get free goddamn cod points from these people. So all the cancerous cod cocksucker channels are also one of the reasons why this game is going to shit as well. So to wrap this all up, Activision is some stupid motherfuckers putting supply drops and cod points and all these games for short short financial gain which in the overall long run is going to ruin this franchise and turn everybody against it and this causes everyone to have zero tolerance for any bullshit that may occur in the game because we feel like we're getting baseball batted by Negan up our bum holes overall wrecking the Call of Duty community giving people less chance to actually play the game killing the numbers and the long story short killing the franchise for some short financial gain. And with all this being said, thank you so much for watching the video. My name is 8 Thoughts, and last but not least, you all stay black! And to let the honky cracker reptilian shapeshifter build the moon base heart to spray the chemtrails, 9-11 was most definitely a motherfucking inside job. Just Google building 7. They're up a bohemian grove, worshiping all the earth is flat, the moon landing was fake, white man, bring your motherfuckers down! down!